Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, John Bernakovich here with uh, Gord Hebert. He also plays a stand-in for Jesus. <laughs> for those of you that are offended by this, you should probably click stop. We're here in Deep Creek, British Columbia, which is near Vernon. Between Salmon Arm and Enderby. Salmon Arm and Enderby. So pull up Google Maps, figure that out. Let us know. Uh, and basically, we've got a weekend workshop about earthworks. So on day one, we'll be doing uh, educational processes around key line, around ponds and dams, and around swales and other water retention capacity. Right. And level sill spillways. Yes. Yeah. We'll also be taking in a bit of Craig Sponholtz's work, uh, doing uh, rock dam rundowns. Uh, if you don't know Craig's work, go check it out. Uh, but we've got uh, a couple of students, probably 10, 15 students that are going to be coming up for the weekend. So Gory's going to be running day one, and uh, I'll be heckling from the back. I think that means teaching assistant. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> On Sunday, I'll be talking about subholzer systems. So we will be talking about terraces, ponds, holzer monk systems, and of course, the ever-enduring Huga culture. So this is a neat site. Behind us here, we kind of have where the pond site is going to be. We're going to have not too deep of a pond, actually. No, only about six or eight feet. Six max. or eight feet, yeah. And the major reason for the pond here is... Fire retention or fire suppression. Okay, because we're not going to retain the fire, but we are no, going to suppress that's the fire. right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the highest point on the landscape, and there's a lovely natural depression here. Mm -hmm. Good clay content and uh, perfect opportunity. Great opportunity. So we're going to have a level sill spillway uh, within, on the side of this dam wall. Going to have a rock down or uh, rock mulch rock rundown. Rock mulch rundown. I mean, somebody's got to make that song. Yeah. <laughs> rock mulch rundown. And then after taking a look at the site, uh, because there are northerly winds that come through here, and if you take a look at the tops of the trees, the flagging, look, you can see the tops of the trees. You can't really see the flagging, but that's how it goes. Uh, there's a lot of wind that comes from the north. So what we're thinking is we'll do uh, a couple of series of hygge cultures of the trees behind me that will no longer be here put those into a series of hygge culture uh, beds and we're mostly going to do cover crops. We're mostly going to do buckwheat and crimson clover. We'll put in some veg but there's lots of deer and lots of bear here so uh, kind of just feeding the wildlife in that case which is fine too. Uh, but basically trying to make this system a little bit more resilient for the homeowner mm -hmm. and this will be the beginning of a uh, of a full water retention landscape here uh, in the years to come. Um, anything else you wanted to add there Gordon? Just that, yeah, there's a real lack of soil on the rocky outcrops here. Mm -hmm. So soil building is one of our main goals. So we're going to use all of the waste material that's on the forest floor right now, build that into some beautiful hugel beds and create some natural topsoil. Absolutely. And as you can tell, all Canadians wear plaid. Mm -hmm. We were born with it. We'll die with it. And um, basically it's if we don't have it on, then we get deported from our own country. <laughs> I haven't run into that yet, but I'm sure it's bound to happen. Anyways, this is Gord Hebert from elementecodesign.com and this is Jan Bernakovich from permaculturebc.com. Be fruitful and... Uh, multiply. Multiply. We'll see you guys on the flip side.